Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you the setup that you need to create keyframes for rigid bodies in order to make them interact with other rigid bodies and some other techniques I use to generate a lot of rigid bodies on the fly. So, well not really on the fly, so let's get rid of this thing right here. I'm going to move my cursor to the center, shift S. I'm going to just add a cube like this. Now you may have seen this in some other tutorials, but this is really important one. Maybe you haven't seen it yet. Um, well, I've got to give it a color. That's just... All right. So um, from in here, I'm going to scale this down, but a lot of times when you scale things, that messes up. So what I usually do is I'll scale it down like this, and then I'll press Control A, and I'll apply the scale. All right. And now what I'm going to do is I'll just move it down here near the surface. Something is really causing my computer to go really slow unless I accidentally hit the snap during transform button. Yeah I did. I don't know how I did that. Alright, so before I get started on it, first thing I do is I'll turn it into a rigid body so I'll add active on this one here. All right, but I want to I want to use this to create a whole bunch of them. And so I'm gonna make modifications. I'll do I use the modifier up here and I'll go get the array modifier and I'll give it a little separation like this and I'll add say five of them across this way I'll apply it I'll get the array modifier again in this case I'll change this to a zero and I'll change this to you know 1.1 like that and I'll do it in this, dire in this direction as well and apply that and then I'm going to do the thi same thing in the Z direction and I'll just make this one and then I'll apply this I mean then I'll apply that there I have my little structure that I can use to collide into alright so but it's not really gonna work yet because the, it's just a single object and you know it's a single object because right down there there's your origin the little red the little orange dot that's the origin of all of these objects so they're not all gonna behave like a rigid body like I want so what I need to do is I need to change that origin. So I need to go into edit mode and turn these into their own objects. So I'm going to press P in edit mode and I'm going to separate them by loose parts. All right, And then I'll leave edit mode but still the origin is here so that means the origin for each one of these individual objects is right there but I don't want that. I want the origin to be on each one so they, they can really rotate around their own uh, origin or axis. So I have to come over here to object and I get a tra I transform the origin to the geometry. And there it is. So now it's changed over here. Now they're all their own objects with the origin right there in the center. This is a really helpful technique. Alright, that's for starters. And then the next thing I'm going to do is click here and I'm going to turn this into passive. And so there we have a plane. So now I should be able to press Alt A and these things should just settle right there. Oh, they do. Oh, they're nice and fragile. That's just how I like them sometimes. All right, so now what I want to do is I'll press... Well, I'm going to move my cursor back to the center just so I know where it is in general. And then I'm going to add another cube. Or maybe I'll add something else. Maybe add a little... Uh, where it is an icosphere. I'll move it over here like this. And I'll give that a color. Yeah, that's good enough. Turn down that specularity. I move one of these lights over here so at least I can see it for the moment and I want to run this into there so I'm going to turn this into a rigid body as well by pressing active I press alt a there is they're all running like this well so I can't just keyframe this immediately so what I'm going to do is I'll start here and I'll at frame z, frame 1 I'll press i uh oh escape that I had pressed o I I and put a location keyframe and then up here at say frame I'll make it kind of slow 120 I'll move it up here and I'll press I and make that a location keyframe alright so now let's start it back here for it to reset itself and press all day and you can see huh, even if I step forward it's probably because it has rigid body associated with that may be something they change it so you know what on this one I'm going to remove the rigid body just for a second and I'm going to press alt a and there it goes so that's actually a little bit different the way they changed it in here so I'm going to put the rigid body back on so that prevents it from actually moving right well that's actually better for me because that tells me that the rigid body is set so that clues me in but the way you have to do it anyway is you have to come up 
you have to come into the rigid body area in here physics and right here this animated button you have to click that and then that allows your keyframes to actually take place to take effect so now when I run it now it takes effect and it'll run into it like that and this way you'll be able to knock into it alright so let's see it from here take off that there there you go so that's how you have a basic setup you know this is really important if you want to get a lot of objects in the scene to really make it look interesting and that animated button is really critical as well okay well that's it for now and I'll see you in the next video